would like to welcome you back for uh, another tutorial. This one is the row house, section two. Uh, one is done, uh, now I'm getting two done. Well, they're really not done. There's some small details like shields and hinges and doorknobs and things like that. But for, for the overall project, as far as painting is concerned, they're done. Uh, this one is a lot of painting, uh, some repetition from uh, before, but some new stuff uh, with red and green and, and different things like that that I'm gonna do. I uh, hope you enjoy it, and that's pretty much it. So, let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this dark brown. Uh, it's similar to the technique I did for this. Well, it's exact same technique. It's gonna do, I might do the wash a little bit different, but I just wanna match it up, so I'm gonna do a dark brown. And I'll take this color all the way over to section three. While I'm on section three, I'm gonna paint the wood on the side, raw sienna. Okay, back to section two. I'm gonna paint this raw sienna as well. Just the upper deck up here, and then I'll paint this down here a different color. I'm gonna paint the lower section a uh, golden brown. Now I'm gonna apply some shade. I'm gonna do the same as I did on the uh, the first one, section one. Just gonna go some. Agrax Earth Shade, and then I'll come back with a little bit of uh, Norn Oil and kind of pool it a little bit. Also do the same with Agrax. I'm just gonna kind of have some pools like that here and there just to kind of give it variation so it's just not all the same consistency. And when you pull it, make sure you do it when it's still wet. It just uh, responds better from what I have found. Then I'm going to come back with a little bit of Norn Oil. Just hit a few spots here and there. This one over here, I'm touching up. I'm going to shade with Reichlin Flesh Shade. I'm being a little bit liberal in the uh, recesses just so it, the contrast is greater. I'm gonna start dry brushing the decking now. I'm gonna use dark brown just to bring some of the color back into it, uh, like I've done before over here. Next dry brush on this is gonna be Storm Gray. I'm gonna do a Bridgeport Gray now, and this layer is gonna be ever so lightly. I'm gonna be very light-handed when I do this layer, and I don't want a lot of paint on my brush because this will really show a lot if I do. I'm 
I'm going to use raw sienna now to just make a path that uh, has been well traveled, uh, like I did on uh, section one. I'm gonna hit this section down here and also the third section. I'm gonna hit it with a Zamisi, Zamisi Desert and also then I'm gonna hit uh, Bridgeport Grade. It'll kind of bring it up a little bit. So on this area up here, I'm going to do a tan uh, ever so lightly. I don't want to do it very heavy handedly. Let's we'll see how it turns out. This is going to be Gene Steeler purple back here. I'm painting this down here, corn red. It seemed to be the prevailing choice when I did a when I asked on the internet what colors people think I should paint paint stuff. Okay, this color down here is gonna try I'm gonna try to replicate a salmon color. So the base color is gonna be Emperor's Children. This color is gonna be an olive drab. I'm gonna hit this with Gucci Violet, the shade. I'm gonna hit the pink with this crimson. You know how I get preachy about not doing black? I'm gonna do black. Uh, this is one of those case, uh, occasions I'm breaking my rules. I'm going to do non oil on this because I want it to be really deep and dark. Uh, I'm also going to break my rules on this one. I'm going to paint it. Uh, with no oil as well. We'll come back and dry brush with the original color Emperor's Children. I'm gonna dry brush with Fulgrim Pink. I'm gonna dry brush a little bit with Sandstone. I'm gonna come back with the Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm gonna dry brush with the uh, Corn Red again. Well, not again, but just for the 
Go back and hit the wind color. I'm gonna do Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm gonna do uh, ever so slightly wild rider red, just to not turn it orange or fiery, just to kind of give it one more step up in some, just some really localized areas. I'm gonna dry brush wog flesh. I'm gonna dry brush war boss green. I'm just going to dry brush the moot green very sparingly here and there. I'm going to paint this little curly cue right here. I'm going to start out with the uh, Wild Rider Red. I thought I was going to do it a different color, but I think I'm just going to stick to the same palette, roughly. I'm 
Joel Slayer Orange. Fire Dragon Bright. Fire Blue uh, Yellow. This is Evil Sun Scarlet. Sepia. Section two of the row house is done and I like the progress on it and I like uh, the outcome. The only thing I don't like, and I really don't like it, but I'm not fixing it, is the pink part. I just don't like it. Uh, I'm not gonna fix it because it'll just be a reminder that I don't like it. Um, but I'm just gonna move on from it and go on to section three. I do have some other things coming up that will uh, be in between section three, but uh, that'll be the next project, next thing for the row house. I think I kind of have my brick colors down that I want, uh, so that'll be nice. Uh, one thing to note too, uh, I said on another video, but I just want to reiterate, I am posting sneak peeks on uh, our subreddit, uh, Platypus Scotsman, Platypus underscore Scotsman, on subreddit, uh, uh, showing some sneak peeks there. We also have an Instagram account uh, with our portfolio, it's uh, Platypus Scotsman as well. We post our pictures up there and you can go and see what we have. And, um, oh, we have Platypus Scotsman Lounge, uh, if you want to be part of a group, and if you have any questions, it's a place you can throw them up, in, for me anyway, and just tag me in them, uh, and I'll do my best to answer them to the best of my ability. And, man, I say and a lot. Uh, I don't know how to fix that. Uh, I got rid of and stuff, but now I say just and. Uh, but, anyway, if you have any questions on this one or comments, uh, please leave them below. Uh, I'd like to hear from you. Uh, I'd like to carry on the conversation with you. Uh, more than happy to help where I can. Uh, if there's some more specifics that you want to know about, let me know. And I'll be do my best to answer them. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I just want you to remember that my uh, mother used to always say that anyone can do art. I truly believe that. Uh, have a good day and take it easy. Sit back, enjoy enjoy yourself, and and uh, open up a Mountain Dew. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, have a good one. See you. Cool fire. So they're nice. Did you say sa dude? What? Did you say southern sa nights? Sa dude.